Hey, my peeps, y'all ready to do this? Let's go. Hey, my peeps, it's about to go down. If you like what you see, stay in tune for a while. Hit the bell, thumbs it up, subscribe to our channel. We're going to have fun and do this car bong. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. Guys, today we have Sonic Drive In. Let me show you what we're having. I was just out and about because I had to go get a few things for the house. So, guys. I sanitized everything down. I'm a nervous wreck, but I can't live in fear. Um, I sanitized everything down. My drink, my straw, everything with this, the packages. I say grace. Thank you, dear Father, for the food you have given us. In Jesus' name, we are truly thankful. Amen. Um, Cliff's at home. He, uh, he actually, he is at home on the grill right now doing lamb. I don't care for lamb, so I had to come get um, our puppy some food, and mm. oh, no, it's so bad. My husband loves cheese sticks, y'all. I've never really been the cheese stick person. But he loves them. Mm. They're so good. They're warm. Mm. You touch them in? And the cheese sticks? get um cold excuse me and you try to eat it it's like trying to swallow rubber but these are warm yeah i wasn't planning on doing this so i like a hot mess i love that Delish. I wish this was just a higher. Excuse me. Usually my camera goes lower. Something's going on with it. And there. <laughs> There it went. So now it's going to start falling. So anyway, we're going to make it do what it do. It's a car bomb. Nothing's perfect. So let's just eat. Yum. Look at that. Little video. Hot dog. I was going to get a chili a foot long, but... This is enough food. I don't know why it keeps sliding down, y'all. But it is. And then chili cheese dots. Yum. I was going to have to keep correcting it. I guess it's loose in the back. Guys, I really don't have a topic today. Like I said, I just... <laughs> got in the car, came to town, was gonna get some dog food. And, uh... This is really just getting on my nerves. 
it's everything, guys. <laughs> Here's what it is. Mm. Oh, hot. Excuse me. So it's not so crooked, y'all. It's a good little hot dog. Mm, mm. I may take y'all and do a little video of the aftermath and what the tornado left behind last month here in our little town. I don't want to be too intrusive on people's private life because a lot of people are still going through it. But I may take you down through a subdivision that I can get into now. Because they were all closed off to people unless you lived in there. So I may go down through there and I may just take the recording of the aftermath. But I do want to be pretty, you know, respectful of the people who live there because that's their homes. So, um... I'll just have to keep that in mind. But yeah, y'all. I just want to come and give y'all a little short video. Yo, I mentioned on my last video a little bit about our pup Dutch. She um she's going on 15 years old in July. July 14th. Ironically, that's the day my mother passed away, 2018. That's Duchess's birthday, July 15th, 14th. Um, she's getting old, but she's stopped eating. And she eats a little bit. I don't want to say she's not eating anything, but she's very picky. And she's not eating a whole lot. Um, and we already discussed about going to the bathroom, not a whole lot. But she's still urinating. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that on camera. Excuse me. But, y'all. I'm just so worried about her. And then last night, was our first night to go back to our job. Yeah. We had to leave her at home alone. Y'all, when I tell y'all my anxiety level was out the roof, It was out the roof. I just panicked all day yesterday before I went to work. <sighs> it was just horrible. I just did not want to leave her at home alone. But we got home this morning. And we left her food out on her bed because that's where she eats. She eats on our bed. You know, she's just a little four, four and a half, five pound pup. Um, and we left our food on the bed. And we've been doing that when we've been home. And she's just wasting it. She's not eating her food. So it just goes to waste. Well, last night we got home. This morning we got home. And the food was all off the plate. Now we're hoping the cats didn't get in there and eat it, but... 
Duchess is so territorial that she like won't even let the cats on the bed unless we tell her it's okay. So I don't think the cats went in there and ate it. So, uh, excuse me. Hopefully she ate a good amount. I mean, she ate it. I think she's just going through a depression. Mm. Yeah, I apologize. Y'all can't see me taking a bite. This camera's all wonky. When I'm watching the uh, mukbang, I want to see the food. <laughs> and here goes the camera again. It just keeps sliding. Oh, I've never done this before. It does it on the bumpy road when I'm trying to do a video driving. I think what's happened is it's just come loose in the back and yeah guys. It is what it is. Sorry. I'll try to fix it in the editing part. Woo! And I'm gonna go. And I started to get, uh, excuse me, a foot long. There ain't no way I could eat a foot long. That's right. Mm. That was good. Uh, excuse me, I know I had to burp. take these home to my husband mm. and these are his favorite snacks I like that I should do it okay. I was looking for the bag with the other marinara in it okay guys I just want to come in y'all see this shit I just can never be great, y'all. It just never lets me be great. It's always something. But it's okay. It's all good. Uh, excuse me. This video is full of herbs. Oh. Y'all know this video is all over the place, but it wasn't planned. But before I go, I do want to say... Thank you to all of our new subscribers. I appreciate it, you guys. That's why there's not a lot of seafood boys on my channel. Um, my mother, really quick story. My mother um, was allergic to iodine, like so allergic to iodine. My mother went to go have, I forget what kind of surgery she was gonna have. Um, she had breast cancer and she was going to have, they were going in and take, taking the cancer out. She was going to have a breast reduction as she was doing all this. So I was in the hospital about 15, 14. No, I was about 14. I was 14. And I was in the hospital with her. And uh, they put all her tags on. She had a red tag on her arm. That meant she was allergic to something. So they come in. And I go into the bathroom really quick. Um, ripping probably. I don't know. I was 14. And I come out and this little nurse is in there and she goes, um, did you, did you see all this? And she goes, mm -hmm. guys, the next thing you know, I'm sitting there and I looked, I was like, that's not iodine or something with iodine in it. She said something and she starts putting it in my mom's IV. And I was like, lady, is that exactly what I said and she was like well let me check the chart and the doctor comes walking in you guys this heifer almost killed my mother I had to postpone the surgery I had to rush her put her in this tank it was like a decompression thing I, I was young y'all so y'all medical people don't come for me because I don't remember I don't know exactly what was what this is my memory from a 14 year old anyway and I was freaking out because it was just me and my mom for the longest my sisters were older it was just me and my mom and I was like staying in the hospital with her um, on a little cot it was in the summertime. And I was just like in the room 
just alone, not knowing the doctors, you know, doctors come and tell adults what's going on. They would come in and tell me something, but y'all know my mind was like, oh yeah, really? I don't know what the heck they were talking about. So I finally brought her back in there. I think it was like a day and a half later. I, in my mind, I was thinking she's dead. Oh my God, they're not telling me. And I was just panicking, but I didn't want to ask anybody because I didn't want to seem stupid. So anyway, um, they brought her back in. And I talked to my mom, and my mom breaks everything down to me that the dummy put iodine into her vein. It didn't go in, but it was she's so allergic to it that it was enough to make her go into anaphylactic shock or whatever it was. Maybe that's not the right word. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, y'all. Point being, my mom was highly allergic to iodine. Could not eat any kind of seafood. Um, about six months before we started our channel. We started experimenting, cooking, you know, seafood and stuff. This one day, y'all, my throat swole up. My eyes was all itchy. I was red. And so we went to the doctor. I didn't go to the emergency room. We went to the doctor the next day and we explained what happened. It's the iodine. It's the iodine in it. So I take a Benadryl before I do it. Then, then I'm okay to eat it. But then I'm so groggy on the video that I'm probably like... Hi. Anyway, but yeah, y'all. Yeah. So, I don't even know where that story came from. I just wanted to talk to you guys. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Just a rambling. All right, guys. I'm going to really get off this time. I might do a live later tonight if my internet lets me be great out the house. But uh, I love you guys. I thank y'all. Um, if you haven't clicked off here, at this point, I want y'all to drop me a hot dog. Drop me a little hot dog in the comments if you're still here at this point. But I love you guys, and I thank y'all. And if you're new to the channel, we appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make it turn gray. Hit that notification bell so you'll get all of our videos first. I love you guys, and we will see you next time. Peace. Fat and full.